happiness can be found even in the darkest of times. If one only remembers to turn on the light. Be sorted into your houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. Starting with my own house for Gryffindor, I really wanted to create a look that I could see any of the three main characters walking around the Hogwarts grounds in, whether that be on a trip to Hogsmeade or down to go visit Hagrid. All of these looks, I wanted to play with the house colors, so for Gryffindor, I wanted to build in that maroon color, so I chose this thrifted oversized button-up and then added in the gold with some accessories. For shoes, I wanted to make sure a part of my sock was peeking out because it instantly reminds me of uniforms. Switching up to a little bit of a classier outfit, I chose this burnt orange slip dress and stuck to the maroon and red color palette. I always picture Gryffindor as the most popular house, so I wanted to make sure the outfit kind of stood out and was unique, but still had the house colors in mind with the maroon and gold. I could easily see this as a Hogsmeade date outfit, take some eligible wizard down to go get some butterbeer. Being different isn't a bad thing, it means you're brave enough to be yourself. Taking inspiration from one of the most underappreciated characters, Luna Lovegood. If Luna Lovegood was a muggle, she probably would have been a fashion icon. Just for the sheer quirkiness of her, I wanted to choose Ravenclaw's colors, but then mix in some of her quirky elements, like these platform blue shiny shoes, as well as some big dangly jewelry and a blue headscarf. It's never mentioned if Hogwarts has a gym or not, but I'd like to think this is something a Ravenclaw would wear to a gym found these blue silky track pants at Target and fell in love with them. Then just paired it with this blue crop top. You gotta think wizards gotta stay in shape too, right? Honestly though, if I was magic, I'd probably just poof all my fat away. What a world that would be. I don't belong here. I belong in your world, a Hogwarts. It's the only place I've got friends. Hufflepuff is my second favorite house. I love the icon of the Badger as well as many of the iconic characters like Newt and Cedric. I wanted to do almost like a mod take on it and paired it with these really high yellow heels, but I cannot walk in these. I think I tripped almost three times just trying to do this shot, so I started modeling on the ground. Some of my favorite Harry Potter characters were definitely the professors, and I wanted to try to create a look that would fit among them. They always have some sort of key characteristic outfit choice, either it being like Dolores' all pink outfits or Snape's flowing black cape and greasy hair. So I wanted to make sure I had some sort of statement piece like this almost feathered white top, then paired it with a simple yellow pencil skirt. Turn to page 394. Did I actually get it? No. <laughs> When I think of Slytherin, I think of badass, strong characters, and I really wanted to portray that in this look, but still keep the girly elements to it. So I stuck to a black and green color palette, but wore high socks as well as black combat boots, and then made sure to pair it with a lot of silver jewelry. Something about Slytherin also just screams sexy to me, and I wanted to portray that. I know this look won't be everyone's cup of tea, but I really liked it. I wore a sheer green top as well as a black bandeau underneath it and then paired it with some thigh-high leather boots as well as a leather skirt. I definitely think any Slytherin girl would rock this outfit, maybe specifically to a Weird Sisters concert. However, if snake dominatrix isn't really your vibe, you can always settle it down with just a green sweater. Just make sure you pair it with lots of silver jewelry. This still portrays Slytherin's toughness, but is a little more Potions class acceptable. 